Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video and a welcome back to Climb to Master and we return what I believe is episode 8 and we're currently 5 wins, 2 losses um, in placement series. So it's actually going really well right now and as I mentioned and I have said a few times, I, whenever I do placements, done them every year, I always aim for 5 wins, 5 losses. I don't go crazy ambitious. So we've already got the 5 wins locked in, banked in, so that's a good sign. So any win that I get in the next three games, to me, it's just a bonus. Like, I, I'm going for every single win, but it's great. And the reason why some people say, oh, why don't I go more ambitious in my placements is because you don't want to get too disappointed. You don't want to get too hyped about them. So many people are like, right, placements, it's my time to get back to high rating or to get high rating. And then they'll end up lower than they kind of expected. You know, I don't like that disappointing feeling because that disappointing feeling can put you on tilt for quite a long time. Trust me, one season, I think it was actually season four. It was the season after I got Diamond 1. I did my placements I was like, right, let's get Platinum 1. It's the highest rating you can get off the placements and get straight back to Diamond and all that. I think I got put in like Platinum 5 and I was like, whoa. And then it took me quite a while to get back into Diamond because my mindset after getting put in Plat 5, I was like, huh. Where now I just don't have really any expectations for placements. And then when I get placed, I'll just spam a lot of games and then make my way back. Also, I want to point something out, and uh, a, few, uh, a lot of comments have been about it, and I will mention it in-game as, as well. When people say, uh, or have found out, that I'm not going to be recording every single episode, or every single game, sorry, that I play on this account, so many people go, oh, do it like the other YouTuber, you know, do the highlight version. Uh, no, like, again, if you like the highlight version, I'd recommend you guys to watch those YouTubers. This is my channel, I want to do it the way that I want to do it. Um, I don't want to just carbon copy other people, you know, that's, that's the problem. I don't watch other LOL YouTubers, but when people mention this stuff, I've just clicked on their videos, looked at it, I was like, yeah, that's not what I do. So, I appreciate people looking out for me, or being really enthusiastic, wanting to watch every game, but for the way that I want to do this series, it's just not going to work. Um, so yeah. Anyway, Syndra, uh, <laughs> I hate when she's left open. So uh, recently we did uh, two Ziggs games. We did a Lux game. We did a Carthus game. Uh, who should we play today? Um, so again, it's going to be one of those, you know, repetition games again, uh, because that's just the way the series is. But I think I might go back on Carthus because he's one of the losses, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't like that he's my only loss. So we're going to go on Carthus, we're going to go with the Exhaust, and we're going to go with APMR. And we'll go with the Masteries that I'll show you. If you want to copy them, feel free to pause right now. But it's basically just standard Carthus stuff. Um, so the reason why Carthus isn't terrible versus Syndra, and I think I had the exact same matchup. I think it was Syndra last time as well. Uh, but I got camped or I got ganked by an Evelyn a couple times, if memory serves correct. Um, is because Carthus is good in farming. He doesn't really care about lane phase. He'll scale into the late game. But also Exhaust is a natural summoner spell for him. And he loves to be close to people. Uh, because people get surprised. Like, you know, you wouldn't think Carthus would go for 1v1 kills. But you actually can. And it's actually kind of effective. And that Exhaust combining with against the Syndra. So if I time the Exhaust correctly, there's not a lot she can do. Now the cool thing as well is this guy was hovering Renekton right at the beginning of Champion Select. And that person picked Riven. And he picked Renekton when he was already hovering it. So that's a good sign for us. I want, If you guys watched, I think it's episode 3 of Climb to Master. I played Renekton versus Riven. I did the Ignite, which this guy is doing. I showed how effective Renekton could be versus Riven. And the fact that he was already hovering it shows me he might play uh, Renekton quite a lot. So no, he doesn't want Teleport. He wants Ignite. He wants Ignite versus Syndra. Um, so we're going to go again. Or should we change the skin? Yeah, we'll, we'll change the skin. We used Carthus Lichbane. Uh, last time. So we'll go with Pentakill, the old classic. Or should we do... Where's the other old classic that I have? Grim Reaper, that's the one. And we'll go with my other skin. So anyway, team comps are locked in. Um, I am pretty happy about our team comp, although theirs is also pretty good. So without much further ado, let's get into the loading screen where we break down today's game. Okay, welcome to the loading screen. This is where I use the website lolskill.net. Now, as you can see, the enemy team actually have a 57.3% chance to win. Again, it's an inflated number, so don't take it too seriously at the beginning of the season. So let's go through it. We have a Platinum 1 Sona on our team, who has already played a lot of games of League. Holy. A Diamond 5 Lee Sin. A Unwrecked Carthus as myself. I'm hoping to redeem myself on Carthus today. A Platinum 1 Renekton, who is going the Ignite that I did versus Riven a few episodes ago. And a Unranked Twitch 
Twitch, but that is definitely a bug because he's played over 20 games just of Twitch, but he's got a very good win rate. Enemy team, a Platinum at 2, Varus with a negative KD and win rate, Diamond 5, Syndra, who had did not do very well in her only game, a Platinum at 2, Riven, a Platinum 1, Lulu, and a Diamond 5, Jax, who's done quite well. So without much further ado, let's get into the game where we're playing Carthus Mid. Okay, welcome to the game. So today we're playing Carthus Mid, and we are hoping to redeem ourselves from the disappointing Carthus episode. I think it was episode... Four or two, I can't honestly remember. But we were against a Syndra in that match, and we were once again against Syndra. Also, I just noticed something. Uh, enemy bot lane uh, did the opposite. I'm seeing a couple people do it, that the AD's taking Exhaust, and the Lulu's taking Heal. The reason for it, if you're a little bit unaware, uh, how or why, is that when you go... Oh no, they've actually not done it. Okay, so there might be a mistake there. Um, usually when you go Windspeaker's Blessing, obviously this increases heals and heals and shields. And then also the items you're buying, Redemption and that type of thing, increases heals and shields. So that having Lulu, who is going to build these items that increase healing, that also increases actual to the Summoner spell heal. The weird thing is that she hasn't taken Windspeaker's if they want to do that, because Windspeaker's is obviously the right choice if you want to go with that crazy big heal. So yeah, that, that's a bit odd, honestly, but apart from that, that that's why they're doing it. Um, but right, so lanes that I'm worried about, honestly, it's my own lane, it's mid lane, uh, it's a Syndra. Whenever there's a Syndra in the game, you're going to be a little bit scared, and especially when you're playing against her. Oh, hey, that freaked me out a bit. Um, but yeah, we'll hopefully do okay. Um, we probably will just play a little bit, pa I'm ready, a little bit passive in the early-ish game, and then as the game moves on, we'll be hoping to help our team with lovely ultimates. I have a sense that she's quite aggressive, mainly because how she's playing <laughs> is very aggressive. So interesting. Okay. Uh, she hasn't gone the Ignite, though, so she's gone the Ghost, which yeah, is just as aggressive as Ignite, basically. Um, because you can position better and basically just stay next to people, which is also an aggressive thing. I'm expecting the Renekton to win, uh, for obvious reasons. One, I played Renekton the, the other episode and completely ruined a Riven One Trick Pony's day. The only difference is that this Renekton has gone for the Fervor. Fervor is still completely fine and it is, like, I think his most popular choice of mastery. I just think the Colossus on him makes him near unbeatable. Uh, he did not use Ignite for that trade, so that might be First Blood coming top lane soon if Riven were to stay. So I think it's coming any second, and Renekton got killed. That's not a good sign, I'm going to be honest. Wow, my Q didn't land. So Lee Sin just killed my lane opponent without me even helping at all. I, I, yeah, the commentary did distract me a little bit, but um, my Q is about to finish her off, but he got the kill before it hit her. Okay. <laughs> Not going to complain. That's a good thing. It's just a shame that I didn't get an assist. Um, again, Lee Sin in every single game right now. It's you know I love Lee Sin, as everybody knows. Oh, that was a good flash. But it is a bit annoying seeing them in every single game. You know, I, do, I don't want to see any champion in every single game. It, yeah... Like, right now, League of Legends, and I know a lot of people are going to jump on my throat for saying this, but it's actually pretty balanced right now because the variety of champions is quite high. Apart from a couple. There are a couple champions that are, like, are popping up a lot, and one of them is Lee Sin, one of them is Syndra. So if these champions get toned down a bit, then League's actually in a pretty good place. Um, but yeah, I'm worried for the Renekton. I don't know how Renekton loses that in the early game, especially when he has the Ignite. But that goes back to my point of Courage of the Colossus. Having that extra shield that you use with W that people can't out-trade the shield. Again, it's another reason why I think it's so good. Lee's returning bot lane for another gank. It might go well for him because I don't think the bot lane will have any summoners. Renekton died again. Holy moly. Hmm. But yeah, hopefully we can just do well in mid and the rest of the map. And Riven doesn't get too fed. But he should start playing defensive if he's got a brain. And again, I don't mean that in any, you know, bad way. I that literally all I mean. If he's smart, he will start to go a bit more defensive and realize that he's not going to beat her. Sometimes, even though matchups are in your favor, like I said, like I don't know how Riven's beating him. Sometimes people just get outplayed. And there isn't, you know, you can't have... If you, 
people aren't going to play again this right now person magic pants you're stupid because why would you point that out just for the sake of it he's on your team either say nothing or encourage flaming your own teammate is just saying that you're an idiot basically and you don't really want to win or you just care about making other people sad which is also sad in itself um but yeah sometimes there isn't a logical explanation why people lose sometimes they just get outplayed it's a video game after all there is a big factor of it is people are simply better so yeah right so mid lane i'm farming a little bit better obviously but she did die once but i did go back early um, nearly level six which will be good that can mean i can start putting pressure on the map now lee sin has to make an interesting choice here as a jungler i again i don't care about him coming mid lane it's great that he got the kill on her but I don't really need this guy to re return for the rest of the laning phase. I really want level 6 right now because they're going for a gank on the Riven. Um, I will see if I need to ultimate in moments. Lee might continue for it. And no, he, they, did, they got the flash. Hopefully people are aware that Syndra's missing. Yep. So she just got the plant. There she is. Mrs. Universe. Lovely. Okay, cool. Not bad, not bad, not bad. He's only level 4, though. He has to be very careful. He's only got 6 farm the lease in. Now, let's just throw the ultimate down. Just to help out. And that's an assist for me. Again, that's all I really want to use it for in the early game. Jax did get the dragon. So they are probably going to focus that a bit more. But smart by the enemy team. Because they knew... Damn it. <laughs> There's just not much counterplay to that. Okay, so she's going to want to look for an ultimate on me soon, I reckon. Jax is probably going to try and steal something. Uh, Jax is here. But I'll have to be careful. But they're in a good position. The enemy is at around half health, so... They shouldn't be that scared. Um... Right. I'm trying to think, if we get to like proper late game, how is this game going to go? How will it unfold? Potentially well, unless Riven kills everything. I think that's pretty much the trick. What does that mean? I think that means I'm having it. <laughs> no. Thank you. Whew. Um. So yeah, okay. Yeah, if we get to late game, I think we'll be okay. As long as I can survive the Syndra and she doesn't get like a good one shot off and Riven doesn't just run into a team fight and kill everybody. Other than that, oh god, there's a Jax as well. God, that's good. That's really good. We really do need a strong Twitch in this game because um, he's a massive threat if he goes off on one and people can't ignore a Twitch. Uh, and even if they try to focus him, Twitch is very hard just to kill. As many of you are probably aware... Twitch can just randomly get a triple kill when he's just like stealthed. <laughs> it's like, and he's awake and triple kill. Okay, cool. All right, I've got ult again. I probably want to use ultimate every single time that they look for a kill on the Riven. Um, whether they should time it always when I have ultimate, that could be another argument to make because just further stuff to shut down this Riven is always a nice thing. The cool thing is that Renekton is catching up with farm. So he was a little bit behind, I believe, with dying twice in the 1v1. Again, whenever you die in a 1v1, you have made a mistake. But he's actually now starting to get his CS back. Okay, she is going for it. He still has ultimate up. He now uses ultimate. He flashes out. Leeson also then kicks. He actually kicked her towards... Yeah, that was actually kind of poor play by both of them in top lane. He will get that kill, so that's not bad. But, um... Oh, you shouldn't have fought him. Oh, yeah, he shouldn't have fought him when he wasn't under tower. That was, again, another mistake by Renekton. He's not playing well. But Lee shouldn't have kicked the Riven the time he did, unfortunately. It gave, uh, it didn't kill the Riven. Another tip I'll give you guys is tilt is a real thing and it affects many people, but don't type it in chat. The more you type I'm tilted in chat, the more you'll actually make yourself tilted. Don't admit you're tilted while you're in game. If you think you're going to become tilted, admit it after the game is done and just don't re -queue. But admitting it in the game is only going to make you play worse. So yeah, don't do that.
Oh god. Oh, they're so low. Come on, Twitchy boy. There we go. That's what I like to see. Ah, na 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 na. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. What the the? F what was? She flashed right. God damn it, Lee! Uh, why did he stay around? <laughs> well, it was still a good thing. We got more kills than they did, but still. Don't die again, my friend. Um, Yeah, and I got Rowan. Okay, that, that's it's good for me. I'm getting fed. I'm 203, which is awesome. But Lee really didn't need to stay there. It was good play, though, by Twitch. Like, he did do a lot of damage just to two of them. So that's awesome. Um, so, yeah, this game might be okay. Uh... People may ask, what would I have done differently to this Renekton? I potentially would have rushed a Ninja Tabby. She just used Flash, I think. Oh, I don't know if you should continue for that. Oh, yeah, he's doing something. Oh my god, he killed her. That's really good. And you know what that will do? That, and I get, you know, he admitted it in chat himself. That will un untilt him. Right there, that will untilt the Renekton. As soon as you are getting owned, and then you kill the person that's owning you, you feel a lot better. Uh, also, I uh, forgot to actually say... Uh-oh. Okay. She doesn't have enough damage yet. Not having exhaust is a little bit uh, painful. Well, that's interesting. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll get. I'll take the trade. To be honest, I scale more than her. Um, I scale when I say more, I scale more than her. Syndra, yes, she has the potential to kill one person in the late game by pressing one ability. But Carthus can kill everything in the late game. All five people, not just one person. So taking a trade on a Carthus, if you're playing something like Syndra, it's not worth it for you, to be honest. Uh, she did get... Yeah, she did get my bounty, which obviously, yeah, it gives her a lot more gold. But still, I think it's perfectly fine for that trade. It was a mistake by me to die, but again, it's a mistake that's not that bad. So they did actually end up dying. Um... So Jack, God, this guy, this he should be dead. He focuses Dragon incredibly, like, all the time. Um. So whenever a Dragon is going to come up, we've got to, nice, we've got to expect him to go there straight away, basically. Did she stop that? I don't... Uh, <laughs> I think she stopped my ultimate. Uh, <laughs> feels bad, man. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have ulted there, but oh my god. Are you kidding? Yeah, she stopped my ultimate. Ruben's not down a bit. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Uh, that was a mistake by me. Again, I am perfectly fine with admitting my mistakes. That was a big one. Hey, Syndra. Uh, Renekton. God damn it, this game. <laughs> oh, there's been so many mistakes this game, e even from myself. Uh... Oh, wait, I've got no mana. This is going to take a while. Any minute now, everybody. Any so there we go. Oh, God. Right. God damn it, that was such a big mistake by me. Again, I don't want to harp on about it, but... Shouldn't do that type of thing. That... That was bad. I'm guessing they really want to do the dragon, because the jacks, we've already seen that he, uh... Heavily folk, why aren't you... Kick that. Whoa. That's just so much damage. Eee. 
They're getting a very fed Syndra. That's not fun. Now, the not the not the worst thing could be because again, she's a very good solo killer. And in late game, that's practically all that she does is kill one person. So yeah. I'll put it this way, I'd rather a fed Syndra than a fed Riven. So take from that what you will. Um, I don't think I'm going to get the tower here by any stretch, but I guess I can do a little bit to it. Oh, I'm still so annoyed. <laughs> I think people can probably tell that I'm annoyed because I haven't moved on the, the commentary. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's fine. Okay, they might look to do dragon considering ribbons roaming down. Got ultimate in 20. Next time I won't do it in range of people that can count. That did no damage. Uh, next time I won't do it in range of people. Oh, she bought an elixir. All right, so the reason why she's got an elixir is that she wants this opportunity to snowball. That's interesting. Really? You kidding me? <laughs> if Sona maybe auto attacked him, if she, I don't know, whatever. That sucks. So they just got two kills there for nothing from us. No, we, okay, we got one thing. We got the Syndra. But then... Who got me again? Jack's got... Yes! Okay, that's good. Sorry, I wasn't... I was kind of thinking. Okay, that's that's better. So that makes the trade actually not that bad. This is a game, by the way, because I know some people have been questioning why haven't I been building Zonyas? Do I have something against this item? I have nothing against Zonyas as an item. I just think it's very situational. A lot of people buy Zonyas randomly. They'll just put it in their builds and, you know. But if I'm on Ziggs, if I'm on Lux, and there is not, like, 100% damage that's going to hit me, then I don't need it because if I play well, then I don't need the Zonyas. But against the Syndra, I'd always recommend building Zonyas because, it all, again, I'd, again, I don't want to have a dig at the champion, but all she needs to do is press one button and you can't avoid that you know even good positioning there is still a chance that the syndra could just flash and then ult you there's nothing you can do where at least zonyas and i know it's an ad or armor item but i'm buying zonyas for the syndra not, no one else it's to dodge that ultimate because it's my only way of dodging it so yeah she was lining up the stun there I've actually thought for a while there's a skin that Riot haven't done for this champion that they should probably do. Something like poop, uh, pool player or snooker player. Um, they might be getting trapped. Uh, but yeah, pool player or snooker player Syndra because her whole champion is about lining up her, you know, the E and Q. So her ball could be like the white ball. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It'd probably be a bad, con like bad visual skin. But I don't know. The idea is not bad, I don't think. That's really good. That is such a random lane that's going up in top lane, though. Like, one moment, one of them's killing the other. Then the next moment, the other one's dead. He might be dead if he overstays. Why? Don't overstay, please! Please! I really don't want Syndra to have another kill. Okay, so whenever your lane opponent leaves, what do you do, everybody? You push! Okay. I'm gonna go do blue. Okay, he got out. Woo! I'm happy. I could be pushing mid tower like right now, but now I know where Syndra is. I don't want to push anything when I don't have much knowledge of the map. Because I don't want to die anymore, I'm gonna be honest. Huh. Again, Varus is making a little bit of a comeback as an actual champion, but he still has his old weaknesses that he's always had. Mainly lack of mobility. Uh oh, Riven's coming to play. Lack of mobility. You know, if he gets caught, he's practically dead. 
He's always had those weaknesses. Wonder if that's warded. Apparently so. Yeah, I, I maybe I should have pinged, but that was a bit questionable. We should be looking to fight this, to be honest. We have leak. Okay, we don't have leak kick. Okay, there's not much point. All right, that's not bad. Renekton actually died with. Wait, did he die with Ultima, or did he not have it up? I don't know. He has it up now. Hmm, this late game is going to be interesting. Again, it's the fact that they have a Syndra that can kill one person easily. They have a Jax and a Riven. Couldn't get her to her to exhaust. Mm, exhaust is only useful against her if you actually can get her to like get in range to exhaust. I'm gonna go back though and buy my zon. Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> what? Guys. Maybe Twitch can... There we go. Alright. That was good. <laughs> I just, well, the Renekton's play there, I'm going to be honest, was a little bit interesting. But sure, it worked. She has to be careful. I'm on my way. Will she go... Ooh, yeah. She still has her own. Really? Uh, Sona needed to not be engaged on her right away. Like it was obvious that Riven was going to go for her after they got they got the tower, but Sona couldn't have got like jumped on before I even got there. If Riven fought us when I actually got there, then we probably would be in okay. But it was the fact that she could have killed us both without... Oh, wait, I have Zonya's. Oh, I'm an idiot. Why? Well, I'm an idiot. Okay. I still, the, what I'm saying is still true, but I could have played it better because I could have used Zonya's. If I had my E going with Zonya's, I might have killed her. <sighs> <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> I hate Rivens too. <laughs> There's a reason why a lot of these champions are popular, let's be honest. It's because they are annoying. It's because they're good in solo queue. Um, they're effective. So, yeah. That looked like a lot of Varus burst. Oh my god, they're like free. Look how free. You're dead again because you're walking into no vision. Brilliant. Sona needs to stop doing that. She's one of five now. We can't fight her. What are you doing? <laughs> what are these people doing? Wait, oh. What the hell? Twitch got killed? Under tower? This game's gonna be difficult. Maybe just group. We haven't done that. I always, again, I hate when people give up early, but if you are somebody that gives up early, um, at least group once before you FF. If you have not grouped the whole game, just try grouping once before you surrender, because again, that can turn a game. If you, if you surrender before you actually try everything to win, and grouping's one of the easiest ways, then uh, yeah, I, I, I don't really know. But what happened there was uh, not good. <laughs> I really hope this guy goes a little bit... Wait, I thought I muted her. Um, I really hope this um, Renekton goes tanky now. 
He's not fed enough to actually go damage Renekton. Hmm. How are we going to win this game, though? So, yeah, grouping is an obvious choice. That when you group, again, I think I mentioned it a couple episodes ago when there was a cannon. I think we might have been last episode. The more time, the more you group, the more ways you actually have to shut down people. So, in, in, in that situation in bot lane, when Riven killed two of us, we couldn't really do anything. Yeah. <laughs> But when if we group, we can shut down a Riven with Sonar Ultimate or an Ecton W. There's more choices and more opportunities to, sh to shut stuff down. Oh, she used ult. And he didn't ult again. Just Renekton. Stop typing. Yep. Better type, everybody. Gar like, I know I muted her, but guarantee they were typing. Because, you know, typing is really important in League. That That's how you play this game. Not actually playing the game. Holy moly. That was going to kill him. Close. Hmm. And he's flaming too. Ugh, I know early gate early season is stressful, but it shouldn't turn people into dum dums. But like I mentioned, I've already got the five wins in placements, that's what I aim for. So although these losses are stupid and annoying and we haven't even tried once to actually win the game, um I don't really care that much. Again, one loss doesn't mean anything to me, so that's the way you've got to think of it. Is that you have the whole season to come. Don't care about this one loss. And yeah, it's disappointing, but... Meh. <laughs> Literally, that's, that's, that's how I deal with it, so... It's, uh... Yeah, just a bit weird. Hmm. So they have... All inhibitors. My team is... Potentially AFKing those two especially. They have been the two most toxic ones, I think. So that's not surprising. Seems Lee is also AFK too. So we have three people who are AFK. Awesome. I'm going to go back and get mana. Buy an elixir, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not angry. I never get angry. I'm just disappointed because we just haven't tried to win this game. Holy moly. That was painful. But yeah, I don't know. Just a couple of disappointing things this game. One, we just didn't really group at all to try and win the game. Like, people kind of gave up before uh, we even grouped once. Secondly, yeah, the Renekton top lane, again, he must have just got beaten as, like, the Riven must have just been better. Because yeah, I played that matchup in a few episodes ago, and I just don't see how a Renekton with Ignite loses that matchup. Um, Renekton does too much damage and has CC uh, to kind of counter... The Riven. So yeah, that's disappointing. So, eh, I get unfortunate. But again, I don't really mind losses at the moment. So we went 4-6-8. So we did go negative in the end. They were just a little bit too strong for even me to deal with, unfortunately. 220 farm, 11.2k gold, and damage done. We did the most on our team. And Syndra clearly did the most. So again, even she did better than I thought she would do. In the fact that, you know, she did a bit, a couple roams and that and got a couple kills. So... Yeah, just one of those games, really. Um, you can also kind of see that if you compare like the damage charts, the Jax didn't do anything. I'd say the Lee actually had an okay game, especially in the early game. But then the Varus did more than the Twitch, and the Riven did more than the Renekton. So it was just generally they had more damage coming out. Um, so yeah, unfortunate and disappointing. People's heads, I think, went down way too quickly without even trying to win. But that's League of Legends. You don't have perfect teams in most games. So if you enjoyed today's episode, thank, um, throw a like on it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time. See you.